All right, it is time for Currently Reading Challenge, TBR week number two. Hey everyone, it is Shannon, and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you this video. This is going to be my second week picks for the Currently Reading Challenge, where I set myself the goal to read 65 pages a day, five days out of the week, for a total of 325 pages. Those pages are going to come from the titles in these jars. I have a jar for fiction and a jar for nonfiction. At the beginning of the month, I had 30 titles on my Currently Reading. Reading, I think I think it's 30 30 ish and uh, yeah and so they are now in here and we're gonna pick them and we're gonna see what I'm gonna be working on this week so let's get this party started we're gonna start as always with fiction what will be the first pick I added some color I did this so I can hopefully open them upright last week I think all of the titles when I open them, we're upside down. So I think it's more fun if you can actually read it. That's the plan. All right, so pink is the bottom. So let's see, did it work? The first fiction title is The Demon's Lexicon. Well, the pink worked. So this is, um, okay, by Sarah Reese. Brennan, The Demon's Lexicon. Okay, so this is a YA paranormal, potentially paranormal romance. I don't know yet. Title, I have 306 pages left. It's one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. When I started Goodreads um, back in 2010, I was reading a lot of YA paranormal. Um, and so this was one that I added to the list. I did start reading it earlier this year. I thought that there were, I found the protagonist not that likable and there were some red flag stuff for uh, uh, not being very compassionate, shall we say. Um, but it follows a set of brothers who are aware of the paranormal. Uh, other people are not. It looks like someone is after them or something is after them. Someone comes to them for help. It very much gives the supernatural <laughs> vibes, like from the TV show. Very much has that, but more YA. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't know. It didn't make a huge impression on me. Um, and so I just put it aside and never came back to it. So we shall see. I will continue reading it and see how it goes. See if I enjoy it more. Um, it is the first in a series. It is available on Scribd. I think the whole series is. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. It is one of the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR, so if I do finish it, I, it's a big win for me in terms of my annual goals. But I gotta say, I was, I was not terribly... <laughs> <laughs> impressed so we'll see I didn't give it a huge chance I think I maybe read two chapters so there's lots more to check out so that's how we're starting things off this week let's see what the second title is so this is going to be nonfiction. what shall it be let's go with this one okay so orange is on the bottom let's see the oh Female Gaze, Essential Movies, Made by Women? Essential Movies Made by Women. Okay. Um, uh, like, this is something that's completely up my alley. My face is letting you know this is actually one of my problem titles. So two weeks in a row of problem titles. So The Female Gaze. Uh, so what, why, this is by Alice Malone. So the, this is... Um, Okay, the challenge with this one is, is I started this a couple of years ago, and I thought it would be fun to read it until I got to a film that I hadn't seen, watch the film, and then watch the section, or then read the section about the film. I did that for like two films, and then I just put it aside, and now I don't know what to do. Is this a project where I am reading and watching at the same time? Do I want to commit to reading all of the books mentioned in, or all of the films mentioned in the book? I did make a list of them on Letterboxd. Uh, I'll link that down below if I did do that. I think I did it. I don't think I made it private. Um, and um, yeah, so, okay, so this one, I have lots of pages left. 324 pages left but the thing is I don't I'm not going to read like a, a chapter or a section on a film I haven't seen yet so do I go and read all the sections for the films that I have seen do I just make a list of everything I haven't seen and leave it at that because there's like I think there's like 20 or so 
films that it focuses on, but then there's an additional, you know, there's lots of other movies that it mentions. So I just don't know what to do with this, obviously. <laughs> so this is a problem title. So the goal of the week is actually to resolve the problem. If I get pages read on this, great. Maybe I just want to read all the sections for the book, the films I've already seen. I don't know. So this this is, um, oh, yeah, so I included problem titles, so I will have to deal with it, because I want to deal with everything um, I have, um, everything I brought with me from last year to this year, I want done by the end of this year. So I included the problem titles, because I have to deal with them sometime. Okay, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> I did watch Cleo from 5 to 7 because of that book, and I don't know how I feel about it. I definitely want to see more, more from that director, um, Agnes Varna, I think it is, um, who's a just huge uh, uh, female director, but I, I didn't love it. it. You know, it had some challenging stuff of the time, too, you know, something that's like, oh, we wouldn't do that now, so, ugh. That's always, I always find that hard to deal with. Okay, so fiction, number two, we're off to a very strange start. Fiction number two. Which one? It's this gonna, it's gonna be this one. <gasps> True grit. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. I'm excited. Okay, so this is by Charles Portis. This is a recent uh, start. I started this just in April. I have a fair amount of pages left. Well, 142 pages left. It's not very long. It's only 200 pages. This is a really nice folio edition with illustrations. I don't know if I've gotten to any illustrations yet. I think I did. I think I did. Um, but it's not a huge one. Oh, I haven't yet. Should I look ahead? Should I show it? I'll show you guys. I won't look. Never know. Oh, I looked. Okay, so there we go. Um, so this is a, oh, I just lost my page. Well, I wrote it down somewhere. Um, so this is a Western. This was made into a film twice, actually. There's a film, I think, from the 60s-ish. And then um, more recent in the past 10 years, there's been a new one. Follows a female protagonist who is looking to seek, what would be the best term? there's something that she is very determined to have resolved. Let's, let's leave it at that. So um, this does, um, I haven't read tons of this. Yeah, what page is that? Um, it's very, um, it's quite dry, I would actually say. I was a little surprised. It's a very factual account sort of style, um, which uh, was was it felt unusual i haven't read something like that maybe ever um but uh yeah which is interesting because generally speaking i like very direct you know in terms of receiving information but as a fiction title it was a little like whoa this is pretty stark so but it's not tons of pages so that's really interesting okay so this is true grit is our our next pick okay let's see what is next and i have 142 for that one okay so next nonfiction. Oh, that one just really just made itself known. Let's see. The Oh, the fucking kings. Okay. And oh, this one's hefty. This is another really uh, nice edition. This this is very very heavy book. I have 371 pages left of this one. It's a non-fiction historical not, like not fiction, like it's just it was by Gwyn Jones. I think that's how you say their name, Gwyn. Um, and uh, I also started this in April. I actually started both of these right before the challenge started. So, wow, this is this is interesting, but quite slow. Um, and so, and I have a lot of pages left, 371 pages, but that's great. I'm looking forward to getting back to that one. Wow, this is a pretty heavy, <laughs> set so far. Okay, what will be the third and final fiction title? Oh, wow, there's several that are competing there. Okay, this one went out. I think the color, adding the color worked. Faust. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, sorry, I threw in another book in there. That's not the one that got picked. Okay, so Faust. I actually have to read Faust 2. This is by, I believe you pronounce it, Goethe. Um, so, um, 
<laughs> this is a play? Oh my god, this is a really heavy week. I have already read uh, part one. So I just need to, and I did start the second part, part two of the tragedy in five acts. So, and I'm actually a little confused whether, Faust is on my those books exploration and I picked this up years ago. Um, I really enjoy reading plays. This is actually uh, good to have on this week. Um, and uh, because last week I had Hedda Gabla, so this is actually good not to have two plays at the same time. So, um, but I'm not sure if Faust is considered both of them or just one. I'm not quite sure why it's one and two. I don't know. This is a sort of cautionary tale, shall we say. I uh, wasn't a huge fan of the first part in terms of um, like it, it, you know, gender dynamics, but this is written <laughs> a while ago. Um, and uh, it is one of those stories where it's sort of, let's see how a uh, mortal will do with free will. Um, but if you try and sort of push them in certain directions, what will happen. Um, and uh, so it's sort of that type of story. It might be like, um, and it does have the character of uh, Mephistopheles. Um, so I didn't know that that's where this character was from. Wow, this is, this is a little on the heavy side. Faust, True Grit, Vikings, Demons Lexicon, and The Female Gaze. Now I am trying to decide if I want to pick an additional nonfiction because I don't know if I'm going to get any pages read from The Female Gaze. Um, but I mean, I probably still will have lots of pages from this and True Grit and Demons Lexicon. Vikings will not be a lot of pages because it's a very, very slow read. Hmm, I don't know. Should I pick a second, a second nonfiction? I don't know whether that's a good decision. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to not. I did last week, but last week there was no, no pages to read. This, with the female gaze, I could decide to read from it. So I am going to leave it at these five. I'm not sure if that's the best decision, but that's the decision I'm going to make. Um, and so those are the five. Faust, Vikings, Female Gaze, True Grit, and Demon's Lexicon. So urban fantasy, historic, history, uh, I don't even know what Faust is. I guess tragedy. And then True Grit is a Western, but it's also quite dark. Most of these are pretty dark. And adding to the mix, because I am committed to reading 25 pages a week of Les Miserables, um, didn't get picked this week, but I am going to try for 25 pages a week because um, I want to finish it by the end of the year. So that's my plan for that. And my extra pick for the week is going to be the Austere Academy by Lemony Snicket. This is the fifth in the, fifth in the series of Unfortunate Events, um, which is uh, I'm Buddy Reading with Izzy and Kate Kelly. So um, this is the next one to read. We're reading this one and the sixth one for the uh, this month, and the live show is at the end of the month. I'll put the date down below. It will be on Izzy's channel. Wow, and this is lots of physical. Ugh, this is hefty, 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 hefty stuff. My goodness gracious, what a week this will be. Wish me luck with these titles. That is um, pretty unusual. I'm excited though because these are these are two that I started actually all three. These two I started this week. Faust I started this year, and then Demon's Lexicon I started this year. Oh, so these are all this year titles. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> and then Female Gaze I started like pre-pandemic. So that. That's been around a while. I wonder what I'll decide about that. Let me know how you do you have an approach for nonfiction works where, you know, um, do you consider a nonfiction book read if you sort of read some of it? Because maybe that's the way to go is just to read the parts of the titles that I um of the films that I've seen and put the rest on a list to watch and just leave it there. That might be a way to go. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think on it a bit more, but let me know with nonfiction that you sort of browse through or just read sections of. Do you consider that read or not? I don't know, um, like, because even if I do that, would I put it as read or unread or keep it on the currently reading? That's the thing. I don't want to keep it on the currently reading, so I have to make a decision at some point. So I will be perusing that. Let me know your thoughts on nonfiction works where you only read part of the title, and I will get to reading. This is... <laughs> This is going to be quite the week. We shall see how things go. Wish me luck. I think 
I think this week I'm, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. So please wish me luck and uh, I'll be back soon in another video. The wrap up for week one will go up tomorrow and then TBR number three will go up next Sunday. Although next Sunday's wrap up will be uh, delayed or next week's wrap up will be delayed. I'm not sure exactly when it's going up, but uh, it will be up after uh, the TBR. TBR is on Sundays, wrap ups on Mondays, but that third week, something different will happen. I'm not sure. We'll see how things go. I'm trying to adjust as uh, things need it. And uh, yeah, so those are the five. The five plus two. Hefty, hefty, hefty. I'm going to have to do my hand exercises. I don't actually have them. I'm going to have to make some up or find some research. Okay, let's wrap this up. Wish me luck. See you tomorrow for last week's wrap up. Thanks for watching.